The iPad Pro M4 vs. iPad Air M2 2024 were released earlier this year as an update to the iPad Pro M2 vs. iPad Air M1 2022. They feature some similarities and differences that we have explained in detail in this article. At the end, we have prepared a detailed comparison of the differences between the iPad Pro M4 and the iPad Air M2. Design and build quality. These tablet versions have maintained the sturdy and durable yet sleek build design found on earlier iPad versions. They come with an aluminum body with a flat edge design and round corners. They are both slim and seem to weigh the same overall. However, on keen observation, you will notice that the iPad Pro is thinner and slightly lighter than the iPad Air. Most users will not notice this, so it will make no major difference. The Apple iPad Air 11-inch M2 weighs 462 with an overall 0.24 inches thickness. The Apple iPad Air 13-inch M2 weighs 680 grams with 0.24 inches thickness as well. The iPad Pro 11 M4 measures 0.21 in thickness and 444 grams in weight. Similarly, the iPad Pro 13 M4 measures 0.20 inches in thickness and 579 grams. Therefore, the iPad Pro is 5 to 6% lighter and 15 to 20% thinner than the iPad Air. Both tablets feature a modern look with thin bezels around the large screen display. The iPad Pro will look more modern thanks to thinner bezel sizes running around the screen. Screen and display. Both the iPad Pro and iPad Air 2024 come in two separate screen sizes. They have a large 13-inch screen and an 11-inch screen option to choose from. The screens are similar but still quite different. The Apple iPad Air comes with the old screen version with liquid retina display technology. It has a screen resolution of 2732 by 2048 pixels on the 13-inch option, and 2360 by 1640 pixels on the 11-inch option. It uses an LCD-type display at 500 nits of maximum brightness. The iPad Pro uses a better OLED screen type with an Ultra Retina XDR display, which is better. It also features a 2752 by 2064 pixel resolution on the 13-inch option, and 2420 by 1668 pixels on the smaller 11-inch option. The iPad Pro has a brighter screen at 1000 to 1600 nits, compared to 500 nits on the iPad Air. The screen refresh rate is also different, with 120 Hz on the iPad Pro, and 60 Hz on the iPad Air. Despite the difference, the display on both of them is crisp and clear, thanks to the 264 pixels per inch of sharp displays. Overall, the iPad Pro is better with a nanotexture display option for high-end iPad models. Accessories and connectivity. Both the iPad Pro and iPad Air are compatible with the older Apple Pencil 2 and the new Apple Pencil Pro. They both also support the Magic Keyboard. However, the keyboard on the iPad Pro features a full aluminum body and has a full row of function keys. The keyboard on the iPad Air is made of rubber and does not have any function keys included. Connectivity slightly differs between the iPad Pro using Thunderbolt USB 4 and the iPad Air using USB 3 connectivity. Both still support one USB-C display with up to 6K or 4K resolution at 60Hz via an adapter. Processing power and storage. Thanks to its better processor, the iPad Pro is more powerful than the iPad Air. It features an Apple M4 chip processor, compared to the Apple M2 chip on the iPad Air. It also features a 16GB RAM size and a 256GB to 2TB storage space that is not expandable. The iPad Air has 8GB of RAM and 128GB to 2TB of storage that is also not expandable. This means that, although they are both fast and lag-free, the iPad Pro will be faster and less likely to lag. Price. Both iPads are not cheap devices, Due to their top-of-the-pile premium features, they will not come with any accessories, like pencils or keyboards, which you have to buy separately. The iPad Pro has a better display and additional specifications. This means it comes at a higher cost than the iPad Air. The iPad Air, on the other hand, will offer better value for your money. This is because it is cheaper and will still perform 99% of what an iPad Pro can do. The main differences between these two tablets are their price and display. Other factors are similar and negligible. Conclusion the iPad Pro has a better screen with a new OLED type screen and higher brightness levels. It also has twice as good a refresh rate at 120Hz, making it better for outdoor use. Both have the same size screens, either 13 inches or 11 inches in size. We found 11 inches to be more user-friendly for both versions. It is neither too large nor too small for comfortable use. Multitasking is easy on both tablets. 
thanks to the iPad OS operating system on both tablets and 16 GB and 8 GB of RAM on the iPad Pro and Air, respectively. The iPad Pro is faster with its better M4 chip compared to the M2 chip on the iPad Air. Both tablets feature similar cameras only that the iPad Pro includes a lighter scanner, which is absent on the iPad Air. Sound quality is also better on the iPad Pro, which has four speakers set up for immersive audio output. The security features on the two tablets also differ, with Face ID on the iPad Pro and Touch ID on the iPad Air. iPad Pro scores better here as well, since Face ID is the latest security technology.